Uh, hello friends, today in this tutorial I will be showing you that how we can integrate GitHub OAuth to login inside Node.js Express application. So this is basically the application we will be building here. As you can see here we have a button out there of sign in with GitHub. As I click this button. I will be redirected to the consent screen of GitHub where I will be able to select my account and uh, if I click authorize a access token will be generated and uh, you can see this access token in the address bar and then it will tell you that now you are authorized to access this page. So if once again if you open this page now in the next tab you will be redirected directly to this page. So now the second time if you visit localhost 3000 if you directly click this button you will be directly prompted to the uh, authenticated page. You no longer need to basically grant the access only for the very first time you need to grant access and then this access token will be generated and with the help of this access token you can call the github api to basically list out all your repositories list out the profile picture name all that stuff we will just be implementing this login functionality using github using oauth 2 inside node.js and express so let's start this tutorial all the source code is given in the description of the video you can uh, check out and uh, basically this is the directory structure guys and let me delete all the source code and start from scratch. You do need to create a .env file guys. Uh, and for the dependencies we are using axios for making the HTTP request. We are also using .env module for uh, storing sensitive information and express. So right here inside your npm i'm express .env and axios these are three libraries which are needed for this application so simply install these and after this we can start this application so the very first thing you need to do guys you need to go to your uh, github.com slash settings applications new here you need to create a new or two application register it with your github account you need to have a github account for this and then you can simply say sample login app and here you need to provide the home page URL mine will be HTTP localhost 3000 if you are building it for your own domain name you need to pro provide the domain name and the description this will be a simple login app and this is the most important thing guys callback URL I will my callback will be OAuth callback followed by the full port number this can be customized to your own application guys you just need to provide the callback URL here enable this option click on register application now it will give you the client ID and the client secret for secret you need to generate this information so the, now this is your client ID and client secret so simply paste your all this information and here you just need to say client underscore ID and then client secret simply copy paste it so now after doing this guys inside index.js we will basically require the dot env module config and then we will simply require the path module as well and start our express application so here guys when we load this application and the home route basically guys here we will show our index.html for this we will use the path module
so for this we do need to require the path module and here inside your static directory guys so you do need to create a static directory just create a static directory this will be the index for HTML form which will be shown to the user whenever they visit your website so we will be showing it and now we just need to start the server 3000 and path has already been declared okay so if I visit now localhost 3000 you will see that guys there will be this button sign in with github if you now click this button I need to now create this route localhost 3000 slash auth so here guys uh, we do need to create this route so whenever you go to this route app.get slash auth we need to redirect the user to the github consent screen so here we will use the redirect method and here we will simply pass this address login slash oauth2 slash sorry oauth slash authorize question mark and here we will provide the client id this will be process.env. client ID so we are basically getting this client ID from here and providing it so if you now hit this uh, endpoint guys basically you will be redirected to the screen right here in client ID has been replaced here and if you click this green button a access token will be generated so now if I basically click this button this code will be there uh, this OAuth callback route will be called and this code will be passed here in the address bar you will see that this is called as authorization code with the help of this authorization code we will be generating the access token so how we can do that we just need to create this uh, get request which was uh, the callback URL OAuth2 OAuth callback and inside this guys we will have our destructure it we will destructure the code so we will get this uh, authorization code guys and now we will basically construct the body this will contain three options first is the client ID we can get this using process env client ID client secret and lastly we will pass the code that's all directly we will pass this code and then basically guys we also need to provide additional options which will be a header which will accept only application json and now we will use axios module guys as we import it axios and we will simply make a post request to this url slash access token and to get the access token and we will provide the body alongside with options so this will return the response guys here we do need to uh, after we do this we will get our data and this will be the access token property we do need to basically convert this again this token will be generated and then we simply need to redirect the user to the home page 
टोकन इज टोकन so that's it guys after we do this now you will be redirected back to the home page if i now click that it is saying that then is not defined let me set check okay dot then sorry so you can see that guys this stays right here because we do need to add this uh, index.html code right here if you see we do need to basically inside index.js we do need to make basically just make this directory as static just make this directory as static you can see that now you are authorized and if you go to the home page now click on this button now you can see awesome you are authorized uh, i haven't explained the html and javascript code guys this is very self explanatory you will get the source code in the description you can purchase the full source code basically this is the html code right here it's a simple form and this is the javascript code it says hiding and toggling the panel depending upon the url parameters whether we have this token available in the url or not if the token is available then we are showing hiding that and showing that so this was the github login application guys thank you very much for watching it and i will be seeing you in the next tutorial